hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm about to start editing this video it's about two or three weeks later smh you suck at youtube i just started my second semester sophomore year of college and before that for the first time, I took a J-term class and I decided to film my experience because I know many of my friends had questions as I was taking it and I personally did not know a lot about it going into the program. I decided to vlog the 10 days that this class took place and I'm only including the days I actually did work for the class or had an assignment. This video is more informational and just an overview of what a J-term class would look like in Loyola and Loyola only allows us to take one. So this is my experience. I really hope you enjoy this video. It is Tuesday day two of class and I already forgot to film what I was doing, but I already finished my quiz for today. I submitted that just now and it is already 6.45. I have definitely been procrastinating all day as well as yesterday. I probably turned my assignment in at like 8, not gonna lie. It's really difficult to adjust back to school, but tomorrow I believe I have like two readings to do and I don't have to turn anything in, which is going to be nice. ...with the conduct opposed to the general good, but all... It's been two days since my last clip, which makes today Friday, January 8th. I have an exam due today, or tonight, by midnight. Yesterday, I did not do anything for my ethics class because I was actually able to finish my discussion post on Wednesday night, which actually gave me some time to hang out with a friend yesterday, which was nice. But tonight, I'm staying at my aunt's house. I am writing my essay right now. It is on Immanuel Kant. This exam has to be... I think the minimum cutoff is 750 words, which I think is about three pages if I'm not mistaken. It's currently 5 p.m. I've been here for the last 30 minutes trying to get a bunch of ideas together and now I'm piecing it together like a puzzle. This is what I have so far. This is the question and then I'm just piecing together little things. I've been reading many articles like, ugh. I'm so tired of it, but basically this is like what I have actually written. These are just like meaningless sentences. But I will check back with you guys in maybe an hour to show you my progress. I'll be filming more tonight just because this is a way longer assignment. And tomorrow I don't have anything due. I will check back with you guys in an hour. currently Sunday night and I have been out all day. I actually went snow tubing with my friends. I did not do the discussion post yesterday. That's due tonight. I was just too tired and I was spending time with family. So now I have to do it now. It's due in about four, less than four hours. And I literally don't know what to write and I don't get the question. Hopefully I get this done in the next hour or I'm literally gonna fall asleep doing this right now. Like an hour and a half later, I finished my discussion forum post, but I've definitely been procrastinating for like, 30 minutes and now I have to respond to someone else's so I'm going to go do that. It is currently Tuesday almost 4 p.m. and I am starting my second exam for ethics. Yesterday, I did not do anything for the class because I decided to save my readings for last minute. So I just finished those right now. 
Now I have to do more research on the exam question and start writing it. And again, it's due at midnight tonight. So I'll take you along as I'm writing my second exam. It is about an hour and 15 minutes later and I have completely changed my topic. So I don't know if I mentioned before exams, the professor gives us three questions and we can answer one of them. So initially I chose a question that I understood the topic of, but as I was reading more into it, I didn't really think I could write three pages about it, so I moved on to the question which I knew zero information about. And I have been reading articles and looking at like quizlets and stuff for the last hour, and I have some notes taken and basically I'm just gonna put this into essay format and make it make sense to answer the question. So this is the question up here and this is just like what I have written about it right now. With this information I will put my essay together but I'm going to take a break to eat something. Many hours later. <laughs> So I totally forgot to film today, but it is currently 6.30 and I just finished my assignment. There was a quiz due today about one question and it was like 300 words, so I just finished that. Tomorrow is finally my last day of class and I could not be more excited. I have an exam due tomorrow night, but I did get the question ahead of time so I could do some of it tonight. I don't know if I will. Tomorrow I will conclude this video probably with me just submitting my exam and talking about my overall thoughts about taking a J-term class at Loyola during online school. Today is officially the last day of this dreaded J-term class. I have an exam due at midnight. The question is actually more of a managerial take on ethics, which is way more interesting to me since I'm a business management major. So it shouldn't be that difficult, but it is 7 p.m. right now. And I'm just starting because I had a very busy day. I actually had a job interview and then I grabbed bubble tea with some friends, but I'm going to finish this assignment now. All right, it is almost 9 p.m. and I have been researching the question I am answering for my essay, but I also was reading one of the articles and after I ended the module, I found out that I have two extra credit opportunities. So of course we had to do that. So I just finished the two extra credit questions and now I'm just doing more research on the topic for my exam. I forgot to show it again, but I just finished my assignment. It turned out to be about three pages in length and I submitted it and everything. That concludes my first time ever taking a J-term class. I honestly did not think I would enjoy it as much as I did. I definitely would have chosen a class that was synchronous. With that said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, just leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Click that like button and please subscribe to my channel. Bye!